All right, welcome to I Saw This on the Internet, the show where comedians talk about the random stories that we find. Today's uh, stories are from the Internet at Kevin Stage email, where you can submit these stories. The only ask is that they're not trending. Just be random, weird, something you heard about, something you saw that we don't cover on our other podcasts. All right? Today's guests, Kanisha Buss, BT Kingsley, <clears throat> and Tony the Baker. This story is pretty interesting. A man won the legal right to not be fun at work after refusing to embrace excessive alcoholism and promiscuity. Basically, he was fired from a consultancy firm because they kept having company parties, and he was like, no, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> and I shouldn't have to go. And they was like, bro, you ain't really down with the culture of this job. Uh, so they fired him, and uh, he sued them. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't like them niggas like that. Yeah. And he was like, I'm not trying to do nothing extra. And I really like him for this. Because I remember jobs at like Boeing, I, it takes everything in me to get through the day. Right. Mm. I'm not going to, to bowl with y'all. Mm. I'm not going to a Mariners game. Yeah. I hate everyone here. Oh. Right. And you're a black dude too, so you got to teach like the the hard shuffle. No, shit. he was white. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the hard <Harlem laughs> shuffle. Yeah, yeah. If you like yeah, your job, it's fun. Good. Like at all depth, right. it was great. Yeah. Yeah. But at Boeing, I was like, no, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah. If I get off at two, I left at one thirty because the parking lot was like a twenty minute walk to my car. Mm. Dang. And I was in my car. One fifty nine. I'm not going nowhere else with y'all. I'm not. <laughs> so wait, would you still get paid for that last thirty minutes? Yep. The rule at Boeing was as long as you're on the campus. Oh, okay. Because that's how far the parking lot was at that thing. It was like you leave, you can leave five minutes early, get to your car by two. But I left thirty minutes early mm. and stayed in my car. What were you in charge of at Boeing? Because <laughs> I need you to care if you build an airplane, baby. I, I need you to care. Right, you folded yeah, it in. Yeah, man. Oh, the wings yeah. is okay. The wings is okay. It's good. But it's cardboard. It's good, man. Clear for gotta, flight. It is one twenty nine. I gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> So I was a scheduler. Uh, the thing is, everybody, it's all safe, guys. Everything is safe. Scheduler. Uh, it's a soundboard. So Tony Baker runs Southwest. Okay. He orders a, a plane. Ordering a plane is very similar to ordering a car online. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want the 737. We got regular. We mm. got extended range. Mm. Extended range is 900. You can go from here to, to New York City. Okay. Yeah, okay. The other ones, you go to here to Houston. Maybe here to Oklahoma City. Okay, gotcha. Extended range, you might be able to go to London. Okay. So Southwest orders this plane. Mm -hmm. This configuration, do you want TVs in the back? No. You want... Uh... The Southwest ain't no TVs. <laughs> Southwest, no. no TVs. Southwest is actually easy because they don't have no... They yeah. order the same plane. Right. So planes essentially have a line number, which is like their license plate. Uh, and I essentially got an order from Tony. Mm -hmm. Said, okay, Tony got a 737. Yeah. Regular. Mm -hmm. Regular. Mm -hmm. License plate 71699. Okay, put that in. Mm -hmm. Okay, starts in the factory on this day. Put that in. Okay. I would just get an email with all this information. Mm -hmm. I would put that information to a program that was kind of like Excel. Mm -hmm. Press submit. Yeah, your job that was more, it. That was Dog. Terrible, even <laughs> Glorified <laughs> data entry. All I did was take the order. Put in the, the By that time, Boeing was so... Automated. Mm. The reason, little company secret, Boeing charges you for engineering hours, oh. right? Mm. So in order to bill somebody for engineering hours, somebody actually has to do that work. Mm. Okay. But Boeing was so efficient at making that plane by that time. Mm. All that stuff is automated. Yeah. So you do like, okay, literally the plane comes in, empty fuselage, which is basically like a cigar tube, comes mm. in on a train, day one of the factory. Mm. Day 11, the plane flies uh -huh. out of the garage. Oh, wow. Right. That's fast. They work on that plane 24 hours a day, <clears throat> every day. By the time it's done, and, and also the parts are what was considered on-time delivery. Mm -hmm. So the day the wings was ready, the wing factory was next door. They bring the wings over. Mm -hmm. All right, move it down. The next piece comes in, delivered that morning, put on that afternoon. And gone. Nah, I don't trust mm. no eleven day plane, baby. That's yeah. All the planes you flew in, the right, is it's eleven day plane. <laughs> I'm talking about Monday, Kanisha, empty, yeah. nah. green, on a train. By the next eleven Wednesday. days, that's why they be in there on cocaine. That's what wow. exactly why. So all I did was take that information, and be like. Did you? Do you ever be feeling funny when you walk on a plane? You be like, I be looking in the little. So if you, you look in the corner right. of the doorway when you enter, it has that information: line oh, number, wow. year, things like mm. that. So my plane, Boeing, was like five years. Uh, 
ahead of time. I would schedule planes that are going to be delivered in five years. Mm. So it wasn't until 2017 that the planes I scheduled started flying. Mm. You guys are safe because almost everything I worked on was overseas. Ryanair, uh, a lot of Japanese airlines and stuff. That Malaysia plane? No, not that one. That one's already in there. Yeah, big Malaysia. But yeah, bro, Boeing was... So the, the... that's how they got millions and millions of dollars because you was just like, yeah. <laughs> and what's supposed to take you? So that used to take per plane like a person a week to like with an abacus, right. you know. Yeah. But by technology, you put day one in, and most of it would just pre fill, mm. and they would never make no mistakes. So then you just put it in, and I go right back to watching YouTube videos. How many of those would you do a day? So I don't, I can't even express how little work I did at Boeing, but I'm gonna express it. <laughs> I got about sixteen planes a month. Oh, right. wow. To schedule. It takes 30 minutes to enter a plane. So every week, um, I would get, every other week, I'd get eight planes. So if I really worked for the whole week and did my entire job, beginning mm-hmm. to end, and I really worked, it's probably about four hours, four to six hours of work you had time on a week. For them company parties. And the, rest you had time. and the rest was... <laughs> Awkward black girl. <laughs> I, I watched full movies. Damn. Paid in full. I mean, just, I couldn't watch enough content. Did they pay well? What? Yes, it's Boeing. Yeah, I, I couldn't, and we got bonuses. Like the other two weeks, when I didn't get no planes, I literally would have full days, Tuesday through Thursday, with nothing that I have to do. So why do you hate this yeah, job yeah, so much? Because right. I was supposed to be here right. doing okay. this. Right. Yeah. It was actually more torture to have nothing to yeah. do yeah, when you yeah. want to do. If I was working at Burger King, yeah. you ain't got no time to think about he your dreams. Nigga, right. yeah. your fries is hot. <laughs> 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 right. Did the days go by really slow? No. Yeah. Yeah. When my when people who had a podcast didn't upload, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> hey, how am I gonna make up an hour and yeah, a half yeah. now? It wasn't the other podcast back then. No, bro, it wasn't a lot. So y'all don't upload. What am I going? I can't even fake work. Dang. And that's what the whole and it wasn't just me. The whole floor mm. is people faking work. I remember when the the old white dude was like, "Look, man, don't be coming in here working fast." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "We got a whole system going on. Yeah. Don't come in here messing it up. Mm. You do this as slow as possible. Everybody have two screens." He was like, "Have something without your privacy screen on that look like work. Watch what you want to watch on your real screen. Mm. Keep that straight." And I was like, oh, this is the culture. Mm. Yeah. Bet. Don't be coming this in here. Say that. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me. Did they nothing. have somebody coming through checking y'all out? The whole floor was no, lies. No, because that guy would then go back to doing watching his own It's videos. the whole wow. culture. Yeah. Yeah. It was a whole floor of lies. Yeah. Could you imagine your manager like, oh, no, you, you working too hard. Baby. Literally, yeah. that's what they would be. You working ch- too hard. Chill your ass out. <laughs> what are you, Latino? <laughs> Say that one for tomorrow. Dang. And they would do people, and you didn't, they didn't really fire people either. So if you did like, Egregious things like people used to fall asleep at their desk. They'd be yeah. like, "All right, we got to move you to another team, yeah. and you gonna work in the annex <laughs> so you could be sleep." What's the annex? That's a part where nobody even comes in there. Oh. The, it's half lit. You do the little fake the work there, yeah. That's I need to be. bro. It was. I'd be in there knocked. <laughs> out. I had to be at work at five Ooh. in my desk. Oh, I'm sleep. Yeah. At I'm five. in the annex. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. You had to be yeah. at, at work in my desk. Five a.m. Five a.m. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you right. This is when I lived in Tacoma, so it was. Cold and rainy every day. I'm on I-5 at 4.15. Now that I think about this job, it's some bullshit. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was just... I am taking 30 minutes to get to my car. <laughs> That's just... your music every morning. <laughs> 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 Even when he put on the music that he wanted to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Let me listen to this new Kendrick album. Every... Morning. Every day, man. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. It was Damn. it was unbearable. That's Ugh. rough. <laughs> and they were so, about to... so he was like, I'm not doing none of these parties. Not... Y'all fire me. <laughs> this this is like the movie Philadelphia without the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> this is like I didn't want to have these parties with y'all. Now y'all discriminating and you're firing me because I didn't want to party. And now he Dang. going to different attorneys like, I want you to take my kid. What's wrong with you? I don't like to have fun. He's like, he took his hand back. 
<laughs> you don't like to have fun. I don't know if I can represent you. In I have a case. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia. I connected with this dude. Yeah. I hate y'all, man. That's funny. I'm not, I can't take another. It was like Denzel in flight. You get one more lie. He was like, I was drunk. I was drunk. I'm drunk, right? I was drunk on the job. <laughs> I was drunk. I was, he couldn't do one more lie. He couldn't take it. That was me. I can't do one minute of yeah. this fake oh job. I hate y'all. It's all a lie. That's uh, what they say. Got little rascals. I was like, I could never go back there. Yeah. Mm. You leave the the dinner and in it. Yeah. You come to L. A. It's sunny. Right. Mm. They got crafty. Yeah. They were serving steaks and stuff. Oh, yeah. oh come man. on. Man. They had, they had come pass on. around. <laughs> I told Melissa from the set, I said, baby, I'm never coming home. I can't go back to this job. He gave it's it all, the Harlem oh, Nights Club. Yeah, yeah. Put your mama on the phone. <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> I oh, never go. I was no, like, no, no, no. I, it was already depressing. Yeah. But to be on a movie set for a month, month and a half, mm -hmm. and then have to go back to that, no. and yeah. know somebody in L.A. making a movie today, mm. no. And it's your scene, too. <laughs> Talking to everything he know. You sit man. there watching like, oh, hell no. Nah. Never doing this again. I got to figure this out. So that he was the catalyst for you. That was the catalyst. Mm -hmm. It was like, I'm going to tell you, I remember the specific moment where I was like, I can't do this. The sound man was on, you know, you, uh, we turn the world around. If y'all don't know what turn the world around means, you take a break and you're going to shoot from the opposite direction, mm -hmm. right? And they're going to move the lights from this side to that side. Because Little Rascals did not shoot two cameras. It was one camera only. Oh, wow. Mm. They taken all day. Mm. So when they were turning the world around, the sound man put his boom pole in his little thing, and he was just on the phone, like, waiting 30 mm. minutes. And I was like, this dude is just at work. Mm -hmm. He yeah. doing the same thing I do. He doing yeah. the same <laughs> thing, but when he working, he making a movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm at, I was like, that was, the, it was it was such a mundane yeah. thing, and it was so clear. Mm -hmm. yep. I was like, this is their job. Yeah. They get up, they get a call sheet. Yeah. Breakfast. Because it's going to be different every time. Man. Even though your your hours might be 20-hour days. Yes. It's going to be different yeah. every time. And We're I shooting was... 20 hours tomorrow <laughs> down there. Man. We're going to Australia next yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, so okay. even though it's a lot of work, it's going to be different. Yeah. And I was so excited. I was talking to everybody on set about mm. their job. Mm. So I'm talking to the makeup lady, and she was like, oh, yeah, my last job. She had worked on flight. Uh -huh. She was like, Denzel was great. Yeah. And the other guy was like, yeah, I worked on the Thor movie, and I had to be on set wow. at 3 a.m. Yeah. We had to do the Ice Monsters. Yeah. And it was like a pre-call. And I was like, so y'all was... They was happy to be at work at three. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was long days. It right. was 16 hour days, man. But right. they had pictures of look at it. I did this ice yeah. monster. Mm. I was like, y'all have that's work? Yep. Dog. I can't go back and be like, yeah. 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 I couldn't go back, yeah. man. Yeah. It hurt my because I had to go back for like three or four months. Mm. And I knew I was moving because we get getting a bonus at the end of the year. So yeah. Melissa's like, nigga, you're not quitting before. Yeah. Yeah. That I know that's right. <laughs> I know you have fun at your little movie. Yeah. Sure. Let me yeah. tell you something. You, was that let me tell you what you're going to do. The Christmas vacation <laughs> yeah. bonus. Yeah. All was riding on that yeah. bonus. We, especially when you know you're going to quit. <laughs> yeah. And it was like five grand because yeah. oh. how Boeing did. She was like, that's going to be 10 between the both of us. Yeah. yeah so I was sitting there too. Yeah, oh, we both wow. worked at Boeing. That's why Man. Clark Griswold was so dependent on that bonus. Mm. If it's thousands yeah. of dollars, no, them bonuses bro, be big. Okay. you working all year for that. Yeah. Like, and you need that to move? Uh. I was like... Because the private school I was at, we got a bonus at the end of the year. I think that was like 2500 right before I moved here. Mm. It was uh, our Christmas. Oh, working right? there. Yeah, because I used to teach. So I was a teacher at private school. We got a $2,500 bonus. Cause, and I was like, I didn't even know. I got my check. I was like, yo. Oh, and they text the bonus crazy, too. Yeah, yeah because my they... dad's daughters, both of my sisters on my dad's side work at Boeing now. Oh, so, yeah. Mm. And that was the thing about Boeing. That was so like telling people, Boeing. people telling me you can't quit there. It was like, they ain't Boeing. Because <laughs> Boeing... Uh, that factory hadn't hired nobody new in five years. Yeah. And they was like, you oh, go, yeah. it's like the, the factory. Because people don't leave that job. No, nobody they, leave Boeing. And you got to know somebody to get into Boeing. Like, it's hard to get into Boeing. Dog, oh, wow. no lie. A dude had built a system. And he, the only one that had the password, he died. He was like 80. He died, wow. and nobody could get back in. Yeah. Oh, wow. They had to rebuild something else. So I was like, nigga, nobody else right. wow. had this written down. Like, people <laughs> no. would literally die there because the job was so easy. They're like, I don't need to retire. They gave mm. great raises. Like, yeah. I would be making bread, but they I They had somebody at Boeing it. that they fired, but then he was the only one 
with something, so they had to rehire him, and he charged them hella to come in and show yep. everybody. Oh, yeah, that's how fire. To, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why that old man didn't give up the passcode. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Just in yeah. case y'all find me. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows the code. But they had to come rehire on, him. Hank. Yeah. Oh, man. You're going to have to... <laughs> you fell over there. <laughs> they was paying well. Me yeah. and Melissa was like, we make over a hundred thousand dollars as a family. <sighs> Kids was in life. private school. Oh man, y'all was. That's why you. Dream. That's what they explained your drive. Right. Because you, you didn't only leave a good drive. You made her leave a good job. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah. That's why I can't. That's the real and she reason made why Kev goes so hard. Yeah, and you like no. I that's Melissa. why I can't go back to that. Because Melissa be like, <laughs> you had to come down here on your you own. You had me quit that job for this. <laughs> <laughs> you better I bust your ass. <laughs> and you can't. Boeing was so crazy, like you couldn't transfer because. Mm. Some El Segundo jobs and stuff, and it was like you gotta apply, and you're treated as as if you don't work for Boeing. Yeah. Mm. So she was like, she never said it, but the sentiment was like, now nah, you got to make it. Yeah, yeah. you got yeah, to. Yeah, you, because right. you, you can't, you cannot go back to Washington. We're renting our house out. Right, the job is gone. Yeah, mm. so you can't go back there. So you sure, you sure? This, yeah. this, this comedy funny thing that it's like Man. Cause of, because it's doing okay, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to That's be like, you sure? Right and it there. was a long time before it was doing better than Boeing. Yeah. yeah. It was many years. Yeah. yeah. Until I, I probably took until I worked at All Deaf and she had a job. So at least two or three years. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't as solid as Boeing. Yeah. Like yeah. that job was like, I it probably still no be there. Nigga. <laughs> nigga. Right. <laughs> we I, thought All Deaf was closing every week. Man. I, so I had Ooh. this conversation <laughs> with somebody the other day about magicians. Like, when you got, if, <laughs> I ain't see this coming. No, but look, look. It's about it's magicians, all, right? Like, bro, like, if you're a magician, <laughs> as comics, we have to explain what we do, explain yeah. where our money and our finances is coming. Yeah. Magicians have to do this also, right? So, like, right. a magician has to, like, go out on day. Like, what do you do? It's like, oh, well, actually, I'm a magician. I'm a magician. Let's show us what you got. Like, and then you show them, like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, I met some of them at NACA, and they were like, no, like, I'm really a fucking magician. Like, like <laughs> had rules. One of the rules was I do not no no magic on the first three dates. They don't t- first, show you no tricks. They try not to do no unless I met you doing magic. They don't like. <laughs> they don't want to do magic <laughs> the first three days. The first three, three days of what? The first three dates. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to see the rabbit. Yeah, in the of, <laughs> of, of like them hanging out with a chick or whatever. Oh, like, going on a date. They yeah. Yeah. Why is that sacred? Trick. No, it's just like because they don't want it to become like. The what's that? Because they he oh, said yeah, he like do the thing, do the thing. He's like he nah, said he had to break up with a girl because she he wouldn't tell her how to do the tricks. <laughs> oh yeah, they do be that code is serious. No, code is serious. Yeah, yeah, they're like, very serious. Like, yeah, I'm willing to walk away from you. this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so, are respect, you serious? They were together two years, and she she kept thinking that he was gonna tell her. He's like, I can't tell you how to do the tricks. Is it really that serious? Yes. Yeah, it yes. is. We, we do this. Uh, that you saw the magician and the illusionist. They was ready to die over magic. Yeah. Or the prestige. The prestige. Which one was presti- with Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Prestige. prestige. Yeah. yeah. They were ready to die over that oh, magic. Man. And Hugh dude, Jackman was killing dog uh, when killing that the duplicates. thing happened. I was like, hey, yeah. man, yeah. we don't need magic that good. Yeah. That nigga was killing the claw they, and he was struggling. It was like, right. nigga, this is what you was doing? Yeah. And the other nigga cut his fingers yeah. off? Dedication. We don't need magic that much. Right. <laughs> right. And the birds didn't even sign up for this. <laughs> the dove? The dove was <laughs> what, what we doing? What we doing? When doves cry, it's about magic. Man, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's mad funny though. I didn't know they had a three a three day. I said I had to say like. So the fourth day, that that, that trick better be days, amazing. All right, fine, okay, huh? <laughs> Pick a card. Yeah, is this what you, want? you know the one where they stuff the shit and pull your bra back out? Man. And stuff? Yeah. That's, that's the third day. I'll make your clothes disappear. Yeah. You ain't no oh magician. My God, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the drink in his face. I tried. I tried. I be on TikTok watching how magic is done all the time. Yeah. I, be like, I hate those I don't want to know. I want to know. Oh, Even no, when no. they show me, I still be like, yeah. I fall for the Mr. Egg. I be like, oh, dang it. Because yeah. it's as simple as what. When they show you how it's done, you can never do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what you was doing. Then you tried to sell you fumble all the, <laughs> the whole deck of cards. Yeah. None of it is it's that simple. Cause here's part number one. You gotta if you're gonna be a magician, you gotta find a magic store. Right. You gotta go, you gotta and those mm. ain't just they ain't on Google. Yeah, that, that's your 007, what's his name? Q? 
Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The person at the store, yeah. though, oh, you got a show tonight. Huh? Check mm-hmm. this out. They got new, yeah. new items. And then the magician be like, oh, I like this one. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was just only bringing it up because I'm like explaining to somebody you care about or love, mm-hmm. like your dreams, like right. just trust me and believe in me. I'm like, man. Mm-hmm. You sure? Just come to my show, girl. Yeah, just come to my show. Me. I promise it's gonna work out. Because women like to feel special. Yes, mm-hmm. like, and I don't want to be like everybody else. Show me the magic trick. Yeah. But I can't. I can't oh, and that. if I don't tell you, then I'm no different than a woman off the street. Yeah, because yep. you wow, wouldn't tell her. You so wouldn't crazy. give you the ultimate. You ain't gonna show me your little trick. I got a now it's a little you. trick. Yeah, and yeah. once they put little in front of me, I got a trick for your ass. <laughs> I would disappear from this relationship. Never saw him again. This is you wanted. Don't let them, don't you don't let you have a fine assistant so you can saw that bitch in there. Yeah. But you can't saw me in there. Wow, that's that not really saw her in half. And the assistant knows the trick. Yeah, yeah. And the assistant, so that's a slap do, in the face. Do, do she know the trick? She has wow. to. And she fine. And she fine. She gonna be fine. Oh, I just realized oh. I couldn't do magic. The y'all two are together on the fine. road. And Melissa yeah. would have the same issue. Yes, yeah. y'all on the road together too. Yeah. Long nights. The assistant is gonna oh. be fine. Practicing. Oh. Nobody got a bust of the assistant. I know. No, to the assistant never lasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cut her in half. Cut her. Cut her. They be like, you need to cut her. <laughs> cut her head off. I'm kill a killer. I'm kill a killer for real. Half too. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Man. Uh, explaining explaining your finances to a loved one is rough. No, you know what's you funny? A dreamer. Especially when they're in the tank and this girl just run on stage and put the lock. I'm not opening this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna drown. He, he gonna you drown. Gonna tell me? He gonna, gonna drown, me. man. <laughs> she go to jail for murder <laughs> over a magic trick. Yeah. Now right. he's doing 25 in life. He died for real. Right. <laughs> Bet you can't come back to life with magic. No. That's yeah. up. Abracadabra that, nigga. <laughs> Abracadabra that. That nigga. Uh, <laughs> See, man, relationships, no. man. That, man. Relationships. You gotta marry somebody who's in magic. It, right. yeah, I do. can't go outside of magic. You do. Mm. And then, it, 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 when you have a conversation with somebody like, like I remember women coming to my life and like, I don't know, explain to you, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna get to the money. I, don't, I can't tell you how I'm gonna get, it's gonna get paid. Right. But I don't know how to explain it. Like mm. to, this, I know how to explain these next two months, but after that. It's yeah. a mystery, Some man. Days I still but trust me, like, it's Melissa, gonna work out. Melissa yeah. really did that because we had the kids. Yeah, yeah. most people in LA, it's you could tough it a lot. Yeah. Right, kids, kids. Yeah. plural. Yeah, yeah man. And I remember the first day we got here because our boys was in private school. Mm-hmm. Zay Zay's class had eight students in it. Oh wow! Right? We both work at Boeing. They don't know we're doing well. They just know yeah. they had iPads. Each kid had an iPad. Mm-hmm. We come to LAUSD, there's 35 kids in his classroom. No iPads. And no iPads. <laughs> and and he came home the first day, told him BT condition. <laughs> Kid had got hemmed up in the hallway oh. against the lockers. Boom. Where's the lunch money? Isaiah oh. was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he came home, he was like, hey, can we go back to the other school? Because the other kid had grabbed him and he pushed him against the locker for the lunch money. I just don't know if it's going to happen to me. <laughs> so do we have to go to this school? And me and Melissa, like, we ain't got no jobs. He was like, I saw Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> could, you work, could you work there? Because I had never seen nothing like that. <laughs> we ain't never seen it. In his eyes, that was welcome to oh, the jungle. We got know, fun and games. <laughs> Okay. A switchblade no, 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 lunch please, money. Please, In his eyes, please. it was all of oh, that. Right. Where's jail. the lunch money? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it. I don't have it. Shoot him in the head. Hold the bloody hand up to your face. And shut up. <laughs> in Zay's eyes, it was all of that. In reality, it was like, hey, man, I want that money. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> his eyes. The way he described it, it was because the tear in his eye. The kid grabbed him like this. Then he scrunched his shirt up and he pushed him against the lock. And then I didn't know I was next. <laughs> and maybe they might take my lunch money. He so was Wait, we could go to a different school. <laughs> you next, new booty. <laughs> what did you, a little scary. rascal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nah, that was little you. It was, oh, his man. name was Little Rascal. Oh, little Rascal. Little 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 rascal. <laughs> <laughs> I want that money at lunch. I wasn't fuck with that, bro. I wanted it at lunch. <laughs> Say okay. Little <laughs> Rascal. It wasn't I know me. you're under the bleachers, Little Rascal. <laughs> They always come me. up in the in the boys' room. You just see their feet, <laughs> little rascal. I wasn't in there. He man, woman, come on. You kicking the stall open one by one. Pack, <laughs> little, little rascal. Pack. 
Yeah. Where you at? <laughs> he just came from, from a private school yes. to a school on set oh, to man. LAUSD. Oh. He's oh. like, we used to have Game Boys on set. We didn't go to school. Why we moved here? Oh. It was so saving. Bro, he was, it was hurting his soul. Oh, man. That's oh, scary. Oh, that is. He had his own iPad. No. Oh, his iPad. classroom was lit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you can't bring that classroom. You can't bring the iPad to the nah. school. Hell no. no. What? No. <laughs> the oh. iPad to LAUSD? Big hip hop. Oh, yeah, tough. <laughs> Grab his iPad. Blood all right. <laughs> <laughs> got robbed by the janitor. The janitor took his shit. Hell yeah, the janitor is getting his cut. Yeah. I'm making him. You try to tell the teacher, they're like, I'm the one that told him to do it. <laughs> you making movies, do you? <laughs> you can't smoke you cigarettes and everything. You think you fake? <laughs> uh. Oh, my oh, God. That Stupid. is hilarious. I'm that with baby, the dude, man. though, quitting. Oh, man. Me too. Yeah, man. Big, uh, hey, I'm. Well, no, he didn't quit. He got fired. But I'm with him on not wanting to participate. Oh, I listen. I connect. Yeah. How much did he win? Uh, oh, he won the case. He yeah, won the he, case. he won. Hell yeah. I, I don't think, think it was like eight thousand or something like that. It oh. wasn't like a huge. It was the that principal counts. for him. It is the the moral. It was victory. like he got back pay for the months that he was fired for. Hell yeah. You know what would be that. funny? You get that money for no fun, and then you throw a fucking party with, with the money. With your real friends. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> and he's hella fun too. Just lit. <laughs> Like, he's so he's the the yeah. He's like, yeah. 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 Drink, drink. He got one of the things. He's drinking. This thing is putting a fork down the street. Yeah, and send that to the company uh, yeah. Facebook. At the bar right across the, the street. The full four out. <laughs> they be trying to come in. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no, no. He hired. That's somebody. how I was. That boy, man. I got fired at Key Bang for talking about stand up and also making the flyers. There was a lot of things. Yeah. So when, so when I went to Bowen, I was like, I don't do. I don't. <laughs> nope. I'm not gonna get fired yeah. for the same thing twice. Oh, <laughs> like, is this man. you on Facebook? I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't even have Facebook. Like, that's Kev. Stage. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I already got fired for telling people about my shows. You know, I'm not gonna lose this job. But this one's gonna have it twice. You know, watching the people be stealing people's identity all the time. It's <laughs> running around. <rampant. laughs> you know who we at? That wasn't me. It's happening no, all the time. You do be worried because when um, some of my students, start, parents start coming to my show, and you remember when I first started, mm. I was running kids yes. through the mud like fuck me. you know how I am I don't like yeah. children like that but I was a teacher too so then the parents were concerned and they was like oh, so yeah, I couldn't sure. invite no more because mm -mm. they were like you're not with so your material. Not with your on mm -mm. no if you was my son's teacher friend, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna pull you out of the class <laughs> I'm gonna respect what you do yeah. I'm not gonna get you in trouble but I'm gonna just slide my student yeah. out of there <laughs> You know I'll be talking about them kids. They should be like, ah. Yeah, you'll be hating my son. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next story. Couple contaminates drought sticking. Couple contaminates drought stricken Ooh. town's water supply by That's dying tough. waterfall blue for gender reveal. An environment and ministry, environment and ministry in Brazil <laughs> is investigating a couple that died of waterfall blue for their gender reveal, part, gender reveal, reveal party. Likely contaminating the water supply of a nearby town. I picked this specifically this for you, Travis Trump. Santiago. Say, all day. Yeah. Travis <laughs> Santiago <laughs> would do this for his son. Yes. I contaminated the water supply <laughs> for the gender reveal. Oh, think. that was my plan all along. <laughs> you see, I was going to turn the whole water for <laughs> blue. And then that's what. That's and then, <laughs> Listen, and then that that's what. They really contaminated, contaminated the water supply the water with gender supply. reveal. And I was like, you know, the gender reveals have gotten out of control. I mean, yeah, too much. for sure. I mean, people have started wildfires. Yes, here in California. <laughs> in California, wildfires, people blew their fingers off. Uh, but I feel like contaminating <laughs> the whole water supply, that's as far reaching as that. Usually, it's yeah. a couple people are hurt. Yeah. Everybody needs the water. When you say contaminated, right. though, what, what exactly? It depends so on they what dye you use. Yeah. Yeah, because if they just made like the whole water supply pink, because if it was I red dye, if it was a girl, or like, was it? Uh, yeah, because it being the dad that made pink lemonade out of all the water. Dye? That's actually okay. If everybody yeah. just got pink lemonade, but now you got a shower and pink lemonade, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. No. So that water, that water supply was drinking water. Oh. Wow, hey man, and they didn't. They didn't. I don't know whether they thought how it was gonna go, it was but it, it went down into like a local river and fed into this town, and apparently no. niggas was. They wanted the whole town to know they about were dying? this baby. They you were get getting sick. They, oh, okay. I, they don't say whether people were dying or not. Oh, okay. But they did pollute this. They, they, the, the the waterfall fed into this river, uh -huh. and it contaminated the river 
the river water, which the is the drinking water for the town. For the <laughs> Could you imagine being a fish? Like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you look different today. What you mean you I look different? You look different. <laughs> Be swimming, hey, man. Oh <laughs> my god! Yeah. The water blue, nigga. You dumb, nigga. Water always blue. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. I don't know why this is how my fish I swim. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they be moving. They be... Yeah. That's yeah, wild. That's a. I, what, so what happened to them? They they had to pay a fine. It looks like. Oh, that's easy work. But how you know Depending it's me? I'm like, I don't know where this blue. Yeah, because they had a video. They posted a oh. video on Facebook oh, of wow. them, and oh, they're like, yeah. "What kind <laughs> of baby is it?" And they go up there like, and the water turns blue. A whole wow. bunch of it comes down the blue, blue lemonade. <laughs> Just you know blue, how blue self centered Kool-Aid? you have to be to fuck up a whole river for you. Man. Man, that's wild. We really is just cel- people celebrating the. This is a phenomenon that happened after we had kids. Yeah, this wasn't like right. We nobody I knew had a party ever. Yeah, right. people just right. asked you, "Do y'all find? Oh, we have yeah. a boy. Oh, and then mm-hmm. you just went on about that was it. The, the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I remember when people started having, and I was like, "Wait, what is what is the, the right, baby's right. alive? Yeah, this it's... is not the baby showers just to find See, out. Gender reveal should be when you have like on your third and fourth kid, but not the first one. Another like later on. But yeah, yeah. you got three girls, and yeah. it's like, all right, all right, let's see if we. Can but we had one for Mel. Mel had a gender reveal for Makaya, mm-hmm. and I was part of it. I was like, this is great. But we just had like confetti. Yeah, it's just a reason to get together. Regular, and, yeah. and, but it didn't count. It didn't double as the shower. No, she no, had a totally separate baby gifts, shower. Yeah. Wow. And nobody, I don't remember people bringing gifts for the gender reveal. We was just I ain't coming to both. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah, it's one or the other. We're going to one or the other. <laughs> My you pick girl, one. you pick what you wear, whichever one you want it to be. I'll be there. I read that you're only supposed to have a baby shower for your first kid, mm. and then after that, it's like you should have your life figured out. And I was like, everybody I knew had a baby shower per child. I thought it was per. Child. Yeah, we needed the other it. kids ain't gonna feel special. We yeah, needed the help every time. You, you need yeah. the help every time. We needed the help. You, you need Baby, that. Uh, listen. <laughs> you need that diaper, that diaper cake every time. Every right. time. <laughs> every time. All the clothes, all the everything, right. whatever you're going to get. The gifts, the gift registry. Yeah. Mm. We got kicked out of Target doing Dana's baby shower. I mean, baby gender reveal. Because she was um, walking in there. She had the little baby. And I was like, all right, we're going to do it on live. And so she faked like she was going in to Target? labor. Oh, yeah, wow, she yo, like, wow. I was like, oh my God, and I'm doing all the acting. But then people started running over, and I was like, no, don't call the ambulance. She's going to be. And then she poured the water out so it looked like oh her water broke God, yeah. and pushed me. And then we grabbed the fake baby. It was like, it's a girl. Yo. In Target? In Target. <laughs> these, I, we still, the video was still up. This white woman was furious. Yeah. People were mad. Because every, everybody's running over thinking she, they're like, lay your head down, and we're letting it go. And she's yeah. oh, oh, with the water on the floor. And I'm all up in there. I'm like, oh no, the baby, the baby. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. Hey, we got kicked out of it. Why did y'all go to Target and do that on our five? Crowd. We just <laughs> it backfired and they just start jumping y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they grab you like the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that baby money. <laughs> Yo, did anybody like get into the spirit of it in that Target? It was like, oh, y'all legit. No, that every, was good. because they thought, because they're looking at a pregnant pissed. woman on the floor. She was mad pregnant. So y'all bombed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this, this yeah. Get the reveal bombed. <laughs> yeah. Fire, Everybody was pissed. Everybody was pissed. <laughs> this is a good girl. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> they slap that fake baby out there. God damn man, man. I mean, they're getting serious, man. I thought, I thought it was really going down. I'm getting honey bunches of eggs, some batteries. I gotta put up with this. Doctor running all late with his hands down. I'm trying to train my whole life for this. But ambulance come now, y'all gotta pay like it's a thousand dollars. Oh man! Doing this. Like, hold on, somebody. wait, nah, man. We're still for Facebook. That ambulance, That's baby. funny that Kadisha gotcha is broke character. <laughs> oh, it's going down. We don't call ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> no, no, we doing something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's <laughs> fine. For, just leave. Give him about just two between minutes. Between me and you, just <laughs> trust me. Don't call ambulance. Because that's gonna be pricey, man. Yeah. As soon as that ambulance, they show charge up. you crazy, man. My so. my uh, roommate in college had alcohol poisoning. Uh, he tried to do twenty one shots on his twenty fourth birthday. That's or, hilarious. And he was like hundred and nine pounds. Oh yeah, that's not gonna And happen. he tr- he got to like nineteen. And they called the ambulance. They took him from the dorm room to the hospital, which was like half a mile. Yeah. The ambulance bill was like seven thousand dollars. He never recovered. Yep. He couldn't. He was like, dog, I didn't. No. And they was yeah. like, all this. They charge you for everything mm-hmm. you do for the mileage, yeah. all that stuff. So I don't know how much twenty shots cost, but the ambulance was infinitely more money. Yeah. When I when I got Hell into yeah. the accident, right, uh-huh. uh, flipped the car eight nine times, come from under. it. And that ambulance pulled up. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I said, I don't know how I'm getting where I'm going, but I'm, it won't be in that motherfucker. <laughs> you told me. I said, there's no way I'm getting in there. They said, you sure? I said, bro, I. 
It's eight hundred dollars in the city. Yeah, and I'm in, in between the middle of Texas. I was driving from driving through. So in between El Paso and Houston. Oh man, I'm, I'm six hours in. I'm oh, no. smack dab in the middle. There's wow. nothing. Oh, I that's said, the worst part of Texas. El Paso to anywhere. Texas look like a wasteland. Oh. Texas look like Mad Max. It does. In I said, There's no way I'm getting in that. No, nah, don't. So what'd you do? I, they, nothing. They came. They he sat in the back. He just relocates his arm. I just kept going like this. I said. <laughs> I'm good. And that happened walk. to me. Yeah. You walked No, no, no. The, uh, the tow truck ended up taking me to like some random ass. <laughs> your, t- your tow truck take me to the hospital, yeah. right? Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> Y'all they, take took, me. No, they just took me to the hotel. They just took me to like a hotel room. <laughs> I remember I fell down the stairs. I definitely had a concussion though. Like, wow. I, I, I absolutely, yeah, absolutely had a concussion. Did. I fell down the stairs in my, uh, when we were moving to a house in Calabasas <laughs> and dislocated my shoulder and it was stuck out. And the neighbors like, we'll call the ambulance. And we didn't have insurance at the time. Yeah. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> whatever they say, is, I'll, I'll be good. Because that was, nigga, whatever this is, that's going to be thousands. Gonna be yeah. thousands. Yeah. And we in Calabasas? Oh. When I was driving Uber and I picked up this lady downtown and she was bleeding. And I was like, no, she, she was like, I just need you to take me to the hospital. And Ubers now are ambulances. People will call Uber mm-hmm. to get to the hospital. And she's like, I won't bleed. I won't be bleeding. And she had it. And I took her ass to the hospital. She didn't bleed on your car? Nope. She had a bunch of rags, uh, a bunch of like towels, and she was like, "Just take me, just take that, me." Man, our, oh, our, man, our health system is—that's crazy. Man. You're like, you you're more worried about the bill than your Hell life. Yeah. You're yeah, like, nigga, yeah. I can't. Bro, medical bill. When I worked at the bank, medical bills would be decimating people. Oh yeah. Like their credit would be like, yeah, the medical bills. I could, you know, I got It'll sick seven years ago, and it'd be like the hospital charge you anything. Yeah. Well, my appendix right. burst. My bill was forty some thousand dollars Jeez. for the for the for the whole process. Jeez. Two two days in the hospital, forty something. Forty grand. Jeez. Let me tell you something. I'm praise God for Obamacare because I don't. I would have never recovered after being sick from COVID like that. The way I was if in you the got, hospital. Oh, yeah, that would have been a billion dollars. Hospital. You was, yeah. You was and I got that much. taken home. The oxygen takes home. Yeah. I could have paid for none of that. So, now but I got Obamacare. Kicker. I got Obamacare right, and I got Obamacare when it was rough, right? Yeah. And I just I had a good year. And I didn't. I never switched it, mm. nigga. What I tell you, the Texas whoop my ass. And shit. Yeah. It was like you know how much money we're giving you for your health care. And I was like, no. They said you never switched it. You got to switch it. I was like, oh, man. never like, switched out of oh, Obamacare. You never, you never updated your income. Or I never updated the yeah. income. So mm. they was like, oh, you also. Oh, you wasn't supposed to be in Obamacare. I, no, I was. I was supposed to tell them. I'm not making zero dollars and zero cents. That's yeah. what happened to me with uh, <laughs> uh, Cover California. Mm-hmm. I yeah. forgot to update the, the the income. Yep, yep. And I was just like, you know, you can go to jail. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> go to jail? I got but the like, hell up out of But I told there. I was like, I, don't, I didn't know I was going to book a commercial, bitch. I ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it was all income-based. Yeah. I had come from California for so long, I just forgot. Yeah. I told him to stop calling me. And then I was just like, yo, I I, I don't want to be in this. Just take yeah. me off. <laughs> Yeah, because you... I went and got regular insurance. But then yeah. they tax you for the shit. I was like, man, insurance they're probably, is expensive. They're probably straight gonna up. tear my ass up on the next one. Oh the yeah, next go around. They gonna be loyal. All right, BT, you gotta go, man. I do. All, All right, time? he gotta go. But we gonna do this. Pick your poison. Ooh, BT gotta I love go. Pick your oh, pick your man, poison. I, got, I got two minutes. Let me try. Pick your poison. Okay, you go first. <laughs> Would you rather do this card game and get to your audition on time? These are so stupid. <laughs> Would you rather have to tickle everyone who's in front of you? I'm not tickle whoever's in front of you every time you're waiting in line for more than one minute, or only be able to eat food that has been made into a paste? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do the paste. I'm, I'm gonna do the paste. Uh, you gonna textures. do the paste? Cause you go, you fighting every day. You start tickling oh, my fuckers in Southern California. Yo ass anywhere. It will out. it will be fisticuffs. You <laughs> won't have to fight have to everywhere. Fight. Somebody break Unless you just avoid the lines. Cause you How don't long have you any line tickle more. them. Uh, no, only if the line if you're in the line longer than a minute. Longer than a minute, them. you got to tickle them. But what if you go? Oh, oh, oh you, the long, you, how, however long you're waiting in line. So once it's past a minute, you got to tickle them until it's your turn. Sorry. What are you doing? Stop touching me. I can't. I can't stop. People would probably be so up. confused at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, what are you doing? Just, just You're getting just, a sexual just, just harassment if it's women. You can't. So who do you stand in front of, though? More women or men? Like, now, where you got to make right. that. You probably got to time your life out to yeah. minimize, yeah. To minimize you line say, access. No, okay, no, you go. All right, you go. All right, you go. Okay, go. I got, <laughs> yeah. Or you got to go grocery shopping in the middle of the night mm-hmm. or Instacart. Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. you just got to avoid lines you all the time. Because eating all your food in a pace. That that's can, what if, if it's like a that. Willy Wonka pace so that it tastes like everything you want it to? You just gotta but get it. But it's, it's, it's just texture. A, yeah. It's a texture. Taste texture every, every meal? Yeah, like pace? I don't want cereal in pace form. It ain't even like, gonna taste pizza like pizza. Pizza paste? 
Uh, what is good is paste. Everything gonna taste. It's gonna like you getting baby Ice bird. Good. Pe- it's yeah. Peanut butter. It's gonna taste like peanut butter and jelly paste. Somebody chewing your food for you and smushing. Ooh. Guacamole. Hold on, we might have some good paste out here. <laughs> Guacamole. Guacamole. But then your sauces. favorite stuff not gonna be good. Can't handle more tacos. No tacos. Uh, no sushi. Taco paste. Taco paste. Because you ain't even going to get the, yeah. the merry of the, the flavor. Come in I'm going to do the tickling, man. Yeah. I'm that just gonna just avoid like Because at the movie theater, I'm no longer in line at the movie yeah. theater. Mm-hmm. I do the sale you, check. You just have to pay for all the subscriptions. I mean, you're just yeah. paying yes. for all that to get out and of the And I can line. hover in the grocery store. Fast, I can just fast. hover until I see a clear lane. You're going to get in that sale check still. real quick. Or still. <laughs> Or, or still. still, or still, it's tickling, man. It's, it's too much of a. It's too much. I risk. feel like technology has helped us to avoid a lot of lines. Yeah, more than we. You can get away with. I'm trying to think of the last time I stood in line. It is at the grocery store. Yeah, the Amazon, airport, everything. something you can't avoid. Oh, oh yeah. it's gonna be tickled no. the Elmo at the airport. Over. No, oh, you know, now let me no. tell you how to get around it because I still do it because of my knee surgery. Get in that wheelchair. No lines. Oh, there's no lines. Okay, you get to the airport early. Be a fraud. Yeah, and then. But if somebody figures standing, you out, or you get There's in no line first, you just already out. standing there, and they're like, "Sir, what are you doing?" Like, don't I don't want to have to tickle nobody. Yeah, they're like what? Just don't. I'm gonna just. I don't. It doesn't matter how long I'm standing here. How much is it to pay to get out of line? Because <laughs> right. I'm because you be in the airport line for long, yeah. and that means getting off the plane. Oh, yeah, because no. it's a line to get off. It's a no, line to get off. You always have to be the last first one class, off. That first seat, first class, yep. first seat, everywhere you go, you gonna have to dive off or just sit there or just wait till everybody get off. But if you got a quick connection, you might not have that time. Oh, man. Shit. Dang. Dang, you that really can't suck. avoid it. You got one Because they're minute. not going to be ticklish. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to be with the tickles, man. No, but you're going to have to fight all the, time. all the time. You guys might or fight. Get... I'm getting behind niggas every time. Hey, what's up, daddy? Uh, so for can... me, it'll be easier. Well, women, yeah. it'll women be easier be, for yeah, y'all. Yeah, like, man, we can yeah. like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop, man. What, what yeah. you doing, man? Yeah. Come on, man. Hey. Stop. But then... This girl is in front of me. <laughs> the fuck you doing, bitch? <laughs> now you got to fight her. No, you didn't see her. Or tickle her. her. That's all I was doing. Okay, and then like she it. like, stop. <laughs> now they both as a couple. Stop. <laughs> now you in the threesome you ain't playing on. You ain't playing on getting in. Like, oh, here so we go. Just... <laughs> now you in the threesome now you didn't plan on getting in. You come through tonight. Uh, another threesome I done fell into because uh, of tickle fight. I'm tickle. Selling. The way the world is, this is a fact. <laughs> Damn. That's hilarious. Tickling people. Mm. All cool. right. It's enough for today. <laughs> I've been Kev on stage. It's been Kanisha Buss, BT Kingsley. We're here, Tony Baker. If you want to submit a story for us to talk about, email us at internet at kevonstage.com. A lot of the stories from today's shoot are from the email. Y'all got have some really funny ones. Uh, so keep that going, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.